welcome to Gyeong's Kitchen. Thank you for watching. 안녕하세요. Today I'm going to share brand new recipe. Very exciting to share that the law inspired me how to make vegan hot dogs. This one is gluten free, soy free, oil free, cholesterol free. Praise the law. Let's go and start. First, this one we are going to steam later. So I'm going to uh, show you how to cut the parchment paper for as the wrapper. So you will need about I got a ruler, ten inches long from here, about like that. From here, and you are going to cut it half. And, and you will need an egg because we are going to make eight vegan hot dogs and put it outside. You will need this one later. Stay there. Oh. Okay. First recipe ingredients you will need. You need a one can, 16 ounce large butter beans. Like this. And this is really soft and has really good flavor. You can get it from any grocery store. And if you like to make your own, cook your own butter bean, you can soak them overnight and cook until nice and tender. Then you will need a one and one fourth cup butter bean. Then you just mash with the hand. They're really soft. You can just mash easily with the hand. A butter bean is complex carbohydrate, which is, is has almost all the ingredients, nutrition for your health benefit. So it will turn into energy and very safe for diabetes to eat. Wonderful benefit for your heart, and guess why? This is very high in fiber, protein, potassium, iron, and magnesium. And this uh, butter bean has a zero fat, zero calorie. I mean, there's there's some calorie in there. <laughs> zero cholesterol and zero saturated fat. From here, mashing is done. Now we are going to add it. Uh, ingredients. This one, four teaspoon uh, chicken-like seasonings. It has a chicken flavor without any chicken in there. And if you like to have a chicken-like seasoning, you can just type chicken-like seasoning by Kyung Weathersby and you will find it on YouTube. This one, half teaspoon garlic powder. Half teaspoon onion powder. And this half teaspoon celery seed, very important ingredients to make hot dog. And another one, one fourth teaspoon majoran. Do not skip that one. Actually, all the ingredients will work together to look and taste like hot dog. And one and half teaspoon paprika. And one tablespoon nutrition yeast black. And one recipe I made without sugar and doesn't taste good. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon, I mean one teaspoon carbonated sugar. And you don't taste much sugar, but it just bring the flavor. Then after that, you will need four tablespoons tomato sauce. And the last ingredient, you will need a oat flour, one cup of flour. If you don't have oat flour, and uh, just blend the oat in the blender to make a flour consistency. Now you're gonna mix it with the pan. So I'm gonna wear sanitation gloves. I'm surprised. This is so delicious. 
No, we are not on good to be diet, but I really enjoy it. Lady loves it. Praise the Lord. So this recipe for those who are on gluten-free diet or who are not on gluten-free diet, you can still enjoy this. And continue to mix it thoroughly. Yeah, now I'm going to make two hands. And actually, you know, all flowers, very high fiber, therefore it will help you lower cholesterol and if you had a constipation it's a false and the heart disease is wonderful so all these ingredients actually help your heart lower your blood sugar lower your cholesterol okay The batter looks like this. From here, let's remove this one. Now this is a fun time. You need to spray cutting board to make a nice looking hot dog. And you need to have a ruler. And then take it out. One fourth cup of water. It's better to spray your one fourth cup. It's easy to get it out. So, see. Okay. Then you just uh, make a hot dog shape. Roll it until measure about five inches long. Yes, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. After that, you need a parchment paper, roll it like this, put it in here, and roll it really tight. It's like you are making a sushi. And in the end, you need to twist several times like that okay I'm gonna show you one more time make sure that every time that you make a hot dog you need to spray the cutting board it will make a nice and beautiful hot dog okay. then you just kind of uh, make the hot dog shape with your hand then roll it Roll it to how long? Remember? Five inches. That way it all looks the same. You don't want to make one is long, one is short. Okay. So take your time to make a beautified outside. That's what you're going to see. Okay. After that, Take the parchment paper out, then roll it. Oh, it's so exciting when God inspired me this recipe. I just couldn't wait to share it with you all. Okay, there's two. I need to make six more. So what I will do, I'm going to finish this six more and when I come back I'll show you what to do so don't go away welcome back I made eight hot dogs vegan hot dogs which is gluten free soy free and oil free and uh, they are same size now this is the steamer so I'm gonna put it on here You'll be able to put it all together. I can put the five in the bottom. Usually, you can just put in the five and three is on top. And you don't have to heat it up the water. You can just put it on the steamer. And you can steam for 30 minutes. And while you're 
steam uh, the hot dog, you can prepare the trimmings. And uh, I will come back uh, after 30 minutes, what it look like, and uh, how you can feed your family, and uh, how you can enjoy it. So don't go away. Welcome back. Hot dog is all done. <laughs> Steam for 30 minutes. Let's see. You can just get it out with your hand. They're not too hot. Mm -mm, look at that. I want to. I want to see everything. Well, how how you like relish on top, or you want to put some? What else you like to put it up? Ketchup, mustard, you know, there's a lot of good vegan ketchup, mustard recipes out there with mayonnaise or relish. Mm -mm -mm. Smell, it's so good. Doesn't it look really good? And I'm going to go and put one here. And let's gonna continue open. <laughs> Then five goes there. Six, yeah, six. Then one, from here. This is a homemade hot dog bar. So, here you go. We like to eat simple, like that. We don't want to put any relish on it. Anyway, if you like to have a written recipe, they're in the description below the video. Click the show more. Also, we are going to share written recipe in the last screen. So you can pause and you can write it down. And if you like to see close-up finish photo, it will be at the end of the cooking show. So, thank you so much for watching. And I had a fun time sharing this wonderful God inspiration recipe with you. So. May God bless you and see you until next program. Mm -hmm.